now we have understood what force is and we have understood what displacement is and how you prescribe the displacement field okay next let us go and look at what stress is and how you get up get that the stress is a matrix or is a tensor quantity okay towards this what we are going to do is first understand what traction or stress vector means we are now moved on to the next concept which is stress to understand stress we are first asking the question what is traction or stress vector it is also called as stress vector okay now let us consider a body which will still remain a potato okay let us say I apply some forces on this body some distributed forces some point load and then I have some boundary condition fixed boundary condition and a hinged boundary condition okay we already understood what a hinge and a fixity mean in the first lecture. So, uh, now for, for this body to be in equilibrium what should happen there should be reaction forces developed such that these forces such that these forces are balanced such that these forces are balanced right. So, if I were to draw a free ball diagram of this body if I were to draw a free ball diagram of this body I will have this distributed force this concentrated force here concentrated force here an arbitrary reaction at some angle theta okay say this is a b c d e this will be at a and at b i will have some arbitrary reaction at some angle theta b and then i will have a moment t m coming in there because that point is not going to display you can generate moment and a reaction force this is c d and d right. So, I have this body which is subjected to these reaction forces and moments okay. The other way of representing the force distribution at b is I can equivalently say that there is some reaction force act distributed over a region. So, this is also equally good to say that there is a resultant and the moment acting at that point b okay not complicating things. Now, let us understand what do you mean by traction or stress vector okay. Now, I take this body and I induce a cut I cut the body like this what should happen I can look at two faces one face is this so there will be some resultant for these forces acting here and similarly some resultant of these forces and moment is going to act at that point right at b a e c and d okay. Now, let us assume that the force is uniformly distributed along the reaction force that maintains the C D in equilibrium is distributed uniformly along uh, this line of cut then what will happen is I will have some traction acting like this okay on this side A B E from Newton's third law I should have same traction magnitude but opposite in direction acting at this phase okay at this phase this magnitude will remain the same but it will act on opposite to this direction okay. So, this is what will happen this distributed force acting over a cut surface is called as traction this is called as traction or stress vector 
that is distributed force acting over a cut surface or boundary of a body is called as traction or stress vector ok. Now, what you are seeing is for a particular body for a particular cut what the traction is in the next class what we will do is we will have different cuts in the body and see how the what the traction that is acting on different cut surfaces at the same point in the body ok. In specific we will take a uniaxial load uniaxially loaded bar we look at the we look at the stress at this point, but it will induce different cuts namely we'll, once we will cut it like this and then we will cut it like this and then see what is the traction that is coming at that point and we will understand from there what stress tensor is or stress matrix is ok. So, that is what we will do in the next class to summarize in this class what we have seen is we have seen one of the concepts of mechanics basically displacement we have seen what a body is we have seen how to represent displacement either in material description or spatial description and then we went ahead to look at start looking at the second concentrated mechanics which is a stress vector or traction also called as traction ok thank you.